Hey all, Russ here, RV or TV. Good morning. What a great night here at Humbug Mountain State Park. Highly recommended. What a great place. Especially if you're into hiking, you can go all the way up that mountain there and over to the ocean. Perfect. Time to get on up the road. We're going to go up and explore Port Orford. Okay, this is 101. We're going to head north. Check it out. We're going to go across that bridge we walked under yesterday. Should be right around the corner here. That was cool. I mean, I've never seen nothing like that, where you went from forest straight to the ocean, this canyon here. One thing, though, the winds really screamed up through here, but they died down last night. Thank goodness. Uh, there's that day-use uh, parking lot. There's the sign. We just drove over the tunnel. <laughs> Too cool. That was that corrugated tunnel. That was weird going through that, too. All right, here we go. Here's the bridge. We were under this thing yesterday. Too cool. All right, we're only a few miles. I think it's only like six, seven miles into Port Orford. Shouldn't be too far. Look at the view. There's a pull-off up here. I'm going to stop. We'll get a few pictures. There's no wind right now, too. Maybe I can launch a drone real quick. Get a quick shot before the winds pick up. Now this looks like good as any. I can see the town straight off there. But there's no wind, very little wind. Let me get the drone up in the air real quick. Get parked here. Take a video too. It's still really early in the morning, so the sun's not up. That's, I guess, Port Horford down there. That's where we're heading. Pretty. Okay. Let me get the drone out, and we'll launch it real quick. go. The sun just coming up. Look at the fog bank straight on out. Winds are starting to crank up a little bit. Pretty view. Not bad. There's 101. Still a little dark probably to see it. This Oregon coast is just phenomenal. I mean, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at them rocks out there. See the sun hitting them? That's the morning sun hitting it. They really stand out with that light. Okay, there's a quick look. Let me get landed. And we'll get on into town. Go check it out.
That was a cool look. Almost need a little better light. Need the sun come up. It's now it's really starting to come up, but I can really see the trees blowing. <laughs> Those winds back at that Humbug Park yesterday were really gusting hard. Of course, it's the ocean. All right, this is the big town of Port Orford. I drove through here three years ago. I forget. I I don't think I really stopped, checked it out much. Just kind of drove through. There's a motel on the right. Aha, a little park on the left. We'll check that out first. It says visitor center. I'm sure they're closed. Look at that. I got parking. Pretty good places for RVs. You can easily park here in an RV. Go to visitor center. Alright, let's go walk around a minute. The wind's blowing here. Whoa, wee, it's chilly, cold. All right, let's go for a walk. Oh, check out the whale in the brick. That's cool. There's our visitor center. Nothing's open. It's early. Barely seven o'clock. Man, that wind is cold. They got storyboards showing parks, habitat, and some of the same ones you see at the other ones. Shows marine life, geology, life on the rocks, underwater journey. Too cool. Here's a few more. But you know what? I'm cold. Let's hurry up. <laughs> We're going to walk fast. <laughs> well, there's a bench. Bet that's been there a while. Look at that thing. There's your view. There's Port Orford. Their little park. I heard there's like uh, a lot of artists here. Got to be a retirement community there. Can't be much work. There's our view. No fog either. Isn't that nice? You can see a fog bank right there. But not out over the water. <laughs> Too windy. All right, I'm cold. I'm going up to the van. Okay, we'll drive over by that docker pier that I seen. Pretty, pretty place. not very big at all. I just Google mapped it. We're only like a block and a half away. <laughs> Alright, let's go check it out. See a lot of for sale signs. There's a motel. Okay, here's a parking area. It says overnight, ten bucks. 
There's a van. Huh. You can stay here for ten dollars. The sign said, pay the port. So this must be owned by the port. And there's your view. I'm not going to get out here. Let's drive down to the port. I'm still cold. <laughs> Ten bucks, it'd be worth to stay there. Why not? What a view. Look at the old buildings there. Looks like a motel up there. Alright, let's go check it out. Alrighty, sign says visitor parking. Ah, I see a memorial on the left. We'll check that out on the way out. Look at the old boats. Look at them old tanks, man. Ooh. There are some rust buckets down here. Looks like you can drive. Probably park down here. Ah, I see a little restaurant straight ahead. Bet they got some good seafood, huh? They lift boats in and out. There's no dock here. You gotta lift them in and out with that big crane set up. All these boats are sitting up on like uh, dollies with wheels on them. They're big fishing boats. Look at them. See the crane right there? Lifts them in and out. So, well. Cool. Well, let's go check out that memorial, and then if I can get down to the beach, I'll walk down there and get your zen moment. <laughs> yeah, they even got restrooms right there on the right. You can just smell the salty, fishy air here, too. Very powerful. Okay, go up and get parked. Jackets, okay, what does it say? Lost at sea. Wow. The last date, 2012 on here. Huh. That's powerful. I bet you could. Storms could really blow through here. A little bench, a little memorial. Alright, let's walk down to the water. There's some old boats, but they've been sitting there a year or three. Alright, there's the dock. Look at that crane, look how big that thing is. Looks like there's a boat waiting to get picked up. That's a big boat. <laughs> All the driftwood. What a peaceful place. The wind is just screaming, but look at that view. Look at the water. 
There's the dock. We're parked up there. Look at the sand blowing across at me. <laughs> Jeez. need to go thaw out. <laughs> it's cold. It's early in the morning. I'm going to keep heading up the road. We're going to go up to another state park. Shouldn't be too much farther up the road. It's supposed to have a lighthouse and all kinds of goodies there. As soon as I get out of this wind, my goodness. But I'm glad I stopped here. Port Orford what a treat. What an old, old place. My goodness. I bet this goes back eons. This place here. If them old boats could talk, huh? I bet they got some stories. Back on 101 North. We're going to keep trucking. Go find that state park. A uh, grocery store, a few gas stations, a few restaurants, a couple motels, probably more than that. Some RV parks. Check out Port Orford if you get down this way. Be well worth it, I'm sure. Down in the description, there's links to help support the channel. Buy me a cup of coffee, get a t-shirt, coffee mug, even shop on Amazon. All that helps support the channel and these adventures. The RV There Yet travel series continues. We're going to keep right up going up the coast. Then we're going to head west. All right. Everyone have a great day. Take care.